You're in really good nick personally at the moment. Is that really pleased by how you're going? Yeah, I mean, it's been fun. Our team's been on a roll. Uh, chemistry is like at an all time high. Probably one of the most enjoyable teams I ever played on. And uh, yeah, we're getting wins. It's easy to play when we get wins. How do you enjoy going back into the starting line over the weekend? Your performance was really strong. Man, we got a deep roster, man, and everyone's sliding in. So I really don't look at it like that. You know, Doolittle got hurt. I had to step up, try to replace some of his rebounds. I can't do as many rebounds as he did. I told him I was going to. But um, no, it was, it was cool. And this improved itself. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's been the Man, just I think not getting complacent. You know, uh, earlier we had a lot of texts about if we were going to lose, you might as well do it earlier. So we got that out of the way, and now we're just doing a whole lot of winning. And uh, practices have been great. The vibe has been great. Everybody's for each other, so it's been good. You said it's been great from a relationship perspective. You're all with your personalities. Like, yeah. You're all, some of you are really up and about. Like yeah. yourself and Ty, some of them are a bit more casual. Like, how, how, is, how unique is this group in the, in the infectious nature of what you've got? Um, I think that's kind of I think that's kind of what makes it special. I think every it's kind of like throwing a party. You can't invite everyone that's crazy. You might need to bring two, three crazy people, a couple chill guys, a couple, couple homegirls that just kick it. You know what I'm saying? So you can't have I think it's a really perfect mixture. So shout out to Danny Mills and whoever put the whole team together. So it's a real good mixture. And now we kind of got a taste for how everybody likes it and we we on a roll. A couple of crazies. Are you yeah. the most crazy? And what do you feel like you bring to this team off court? Yeah, I would say I'm, I think it's a tie between me and Ty, but I mean, the craziness just brings the aspect of like enjoyment and fun. Um, I feel like you need that. We got a silent assassin in BC. Or he, he's not silent, but you know, he's very, unless he's doing one of these or telling the crowd how, to, how, uh, how he's feeling, he's real silent, kind of locked in on his work. So we might need, you know, me to come say some crazy stuff to loosen the mood up a little bit. <laughs> you guys are obviously playing some very good basketball. Yeah. Like the the that, how yeah. do you keep this momentum? I mean, it's summertime, and it's perfect. It's, it's my favorite city in Australia. Other than, well, yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite. Like, I don't really like Melbourne. I don't really like, the only one that competes is probably Gold Coast. I like Gold Coast. But Perth is, Perth is it, and the summertime is hot, so you can't be in a bad mood for us. Everyone's out of school, I think, still, so everybody's in a good mood, yeah. Just answering your questions. Yeah, yeah. Describe it as a party. How long can this party go for? Man, me, I like to party all night, so we can keep going. Like, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep playing well. Um, I'm trying to push to the finals. Everybody's trying to push to the finals. I feel like nobody's hotter than us right now. So, yeah. So, you've got, uh, you've invited Illawarra to the party yeah. on Thursday night. Yep. Are you going to make it a nice party for them? No, no. We taking all the all, uh, hors d'oeuvres, uh, keeping it to ourselves. You know, they come into the jungle. It's hard to play there. The fans are going to be rocking. Uh, trying to make it, what, seven in a row? Maybe seven? seven. Trying to make it seven in a row. Yeah. Last time you played them, they did beat you. Yeah. You know, we didn't have time, but also we can't give up a first quarter like that. It was a real mundane first quarter for us. They jumped on us, and uh, we put a fight up later. But in this league, you cannot let any team jump on you with that many points in a in a quarter or just get down that much because then it's a fight that sometimes you just can't climb back from. To be rolling so well and, and yeah. obviously have the absence of someone like Alex, how yeah. exciting is that that you might get him back? Yeah, it's super exciting. But also, you know, being a guy as young as he is with the potential that he has, you don't want to rush him. You want him to take his time, and he just has – everybody wants to see him do great. We give him the hardest time just because he's going to be such a great basketball player. So I'm happy to see him back. I'm happy he gets to play basketball again, and it's going to be great to play with him. He was jumping around like crazy. Yep. I think yep. shooting down the like, yep. have, you, have you seen his athleticism returning as, he, as he's hit steel? Yeah, I think his athleticism has always been there. He's like 12 years old. So, you know, when you get a cut when you're young, it heals in like a day. When you get older, it like scabs up and gets longer. So, yeah, you know, I think we just been – He's full health now, 110%. He might even be stronger, you know what I'm saying? So we're just excited to see him play, play with him. He's a good player. You know, it's like to um, keep young and, then, and I think workload on you, which is what yeah. he's had. Yeah. Uh, do you think that the rest of this time he was actually probably good for him mentally and physically, given what he's been uh, working through, yeah. the pressure that's been on him? Yeah, I mean, he's built for the pressure, though. He's a real, real humble young man. I know I like to play around, but I'm serious. He's a real humble young man. And I think he's a stand-up human before basketball. And he comes to work every day as an 18-year-old and treats it like a professional. And I think the sky's the limit for him. And I'm happy that, you know, he gets to stay here and finish out this run with us. How important is to have his talent in this team on, on, back on the court again? Yeah. When you missed him first. Have you ever missed him from a win-loss perspective? Yeah. 
I mean, you, you, you know it, we're rolling already and throw them right back in the mix. It's just another thing, you know, the coach has got a game plan for a seven footer that can do it all. So it's exciting, man, it's exciting. Cool. All right, appreciate it. Thank you.